So we can use proportions to help us solve for unknown values. The set of proportions is A over B equals C over D. And then what we do is we cross multiply the values adjacent to each other or uh, across from each other. So then we have A being multiplied by D. Oh, sorry, I'll have to try to write the correct variable. A being multiplied by D. And this value is supposed to equal B being multiplied by C. And then once we have three of the four values, we plug those in and we're able to solve accordingly. So if we have one example of that would be six tenths equaling 15 over X. Now, when we have two things set up as fractions, sometimes we can just say, oh, well, six times what equals this value over here. Well, there's not a whole number that we can multiply six by to make the 15. So we can use proportional reasoning to find out what this missing D value is. So we go six times X, which is six X. And then I go 10 times 100 or 10 times 15, which is gonna give me 150. So it's saying six times some number equals 150. Well, to find out what that number is, we have to divide six off of there. So we have to basically do the opposite operation of what is currently showing here. So we divide six off of both sides. And in doing so, a six divided by six turns into a one. Okay, so it basically cancels it out. And if I have one X, it means I just have an X. So then I need to figure out, well, what is 15 divided by six? Do not have a calculator handy, so we're going to go old school. 6 into 15 would be twice, equaling 12, leaving me with 3. Bring down the 0. 6 into 30 would be 5 times, leaving me with nothing, so my math is good. So x, our missing proportional value, is going to be 25. Now, you might have looked at 6 over 10 and been like, well, that's that can be reduced. It can be. So if you'd like to, you always have that option because it's still kind of equivalent values and it might make things a little bit easier for you. But it's still it all still works out. You can keep it as it is, but sometimes shrinking a value before you're then multiplying makes things a little bit easier.